This is Experian on Snapchat. Hey guys, hope you had a wonderful weekend. Today on Snapchat, we're talking about five ways you can find a trusted financial advisor. So I know that the numbers that financial planning pays off between two and three percent doesn't seem like a lot, but actually with compounding interest, that is a lot over time. A great financial advisor is not only going to help you with investing, but more importantly, sit with you to talk with you about your goals and help create a map. Think of a financial advisor as a compass to guide you. So here are five ways to help you find a financial advisor. Step one is kind of knowing what types of financial goals you have because different financial planners focus on different areas. Some focus on investing, some on tax planning. So choosing a financial planner is almost like choosing an ice cream. Like there's all these different varieties that are out there. Some focus on asset allocation, some focus on taxes, some focus on retirement. Now there are certainly financial advisors that are out there that can help you with all those different areas. But if you're looking to focus in on one specific goal, seek out that type of advisor. Okay, so step two is really important because anybody can claim to be a financial advisor. So it's important to check up on their credentials. There are a lot of reputable credentials that are out there, and here's a list of some of the ones you should know about. There's a CFP, a CHFC, a CLU, there are others. It's key to work with somebody who's been certified because you wanna make sure that one, they've gone through a background check, two, they've gone through testing, and three, forgot three, oops. Work with a financial advisor who's been credentialed by a reputable organization means that they've undergone the right background checks, they've actually gone through testing, and they continue to get education. Oh, and aside from finding somebody who's been credentialed, you want to make sure the person you work with is a fiduciary. A fiduciary is someone who's putting your best interests ahead of their own. Okay, the third way to find a great financial advisor is to gather recommendations from those that you trust and also to check out online reviews. Okay, so when you're on the hunt for a good financial advisor, you got to do a ton of research. So screenshot the next snap. I have a bunch of different websites for you to check out. On our Experian blog, we set up a place where we've listed out resources that you can go to, like the SEC, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, and also Guidevine. And as you go through these reviews, make sure that you read through a lot of them. Sometimes there are shills, there are fake reviews that are out there, so just be cautious. So after you've gone through your research process, step four is to begin contacting different financial advisors with a list of specific questions that you have. To make it easy, I suggest emailing all the different financial advisors your questions and just laundry list them. Are they a fiduciary? How are they compensated? Etc. The fifth way to find a great financial advisor is actually meeting them in person and looking for red flags. Are they pressuring you? Are they making you feel uncomfortable? Are they promising to beat the market? A good financial advisor is almost like a therapist. They're going to ask you lots of good questions to get you thinking, to help guide you, and point you in the right direction. And look, you're in control. If you're feeling uncomfortable, if you're feeling pressured, just walk out. There's lots of other financial advisors that are out there that can help you. If you'd like to learn more ways on how you can find a great financial advisor and also about our credit chat with the CFP board, screenshot the next snap. If you have any specific questions you'd like to answer today, we're going to be live on Periscope at 2.30 Eastern. The URL is just ex.pn scope.